I'm in San Francisco, which is one of my favorite cities in the world. And the reason we came up here is actually to test out the new nearby Pokemon feature that Niantic is currently beta testing here in San Francisco only. But that's going to be tomorrow's episode. Today, I want to talk about the new Buddy feature. The update has started rolling out, so if you don't have it yet, be patient, it's coming soon. But since we've been here all weekend, this episode's probably going to jump around a little bit. I'm going to split up this whole trip into two episodes, so today I'll talk about the Buddy feature, explain all that, and you'll see part one of our San Francisco trip, and then tomorrow we'll talk about the new nearby Pokemon feature, and you'll see part two of the trip. Here we go. With the latest update to Pokemon Go, the Buddy feature finally went live. The Buddy feature allows you to choose a Pokemon and walk with it so you can earn candy for that species. To pick a Buddy Pokemon, you'll open up your trainer profile, hit the menu, and choose Buddy. From there, you can select a Pokemon that you want to walk with. This feature is a great way to earn candy for rare Pokemon. This feature is a great way to earn candy for rare Pokemon that you can't catch a lot of. So for my first Buddy, I'm going to choose Snorlax. Snorlax is now my buddy. Underneath your buddy Pokemon, you'll see a bar, and that tells you your progress towards earning a candy. For Snorlax, it takes five kilometers to earn one candy, and the distance for each Pokemon is based on the distance of egg that they hatch from. This is different from the information that was data mined earlier, so Pokemon like Snorlax, who hatch from 10 kilometer eggs, require five kilometers of walking to earn one candy. You can switch your buddy Pokemon out at any time, just by hitting that. It tells you your progress will be lost, so if you haven't earned a full candy yet, I would suggest finishing up that walk to get that candy before you switch. All right, Cloyster requires three kilometers to earn one candy. Again, Shelter hatches from five kilometer eggs. So if you choose an evolved Pokemon like Cloyster, you will earn candies for the basic Pokemon, the whole species. And Pokemon that hatch from two kilometer eggs require one kilometer of walking to earn a candy. The exception is starter Pokemon, which all hatch from two kilometer eggs, but they require three kilometers of walking to earn candy. So that's Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. I'm gonna set this Pikachu as my buddy and start walking so we can talk about some rewards. As you're walking, down next to your trainer icon, you'll see your buddy's icon also and it has a circular progress bar. So right now it looks like I'm about halfway to earning a candy with Pikachu. Again, if you go to your trainer profile, you can tap on your buddy Pokemon right there, and yep, I'm exactly halfway. Another half kilometer. Well, Pikachu just found a candy. Also, another 0.8 till my next candy. I'm still walking with Pikachu. I hit my second candy, so I'm gonna switch Pikachu out right now to a different Pokemon. I'm gonna choose a Pokemon that hatches from a 5K egg. Um, I'm actually going to choose Abra because I'm pretty close to having enough candies for Alakazam. There it is. Abra. Alright. Abra is now my buddy. Ooh, they do their little animation. I'm just going to walk and see what happens when I get that candy. Abra just found his first candy. And if you go to your journal, you can actually check to see when you find candies. Now, I haven't experienced it yet, but some people on Reddit have said that there is a chance of finding multiple candies. People have found two candies at a time. And if you check your journal, you'll actually see the entry twice with the same timestamp. Abra found a candy, Abra found a candy. So it is possible to earn more than one candy. So far it seems to be pretty rare. And another thing I want to clear up is that there isn't actually an XP reward for walking with your Pokemon. That was reported on Reddit, but the user later realized that he uh, probably evolved a Pokemon or did something beforehand and saw the experience for that, and not actually for finding a candy. So, no XP reward, but you can find multiple candies. It's four o'clock Friday, packing up to leave now. A little later than I would have liked, we're probably gonna hit traffic on the way out of LA, but better late than never. packed, ready to go, 
But I got this package, and I couldn't leave it here all weekend. That's like waiting to open your Christmas presents until New Year's. Hi Nick, been following your channel since release and thought you can use a little power for your adventures. Hope you enjoy these. Regards, Alan Rav Power. Thanks, Alan. That's a lot of power. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. And a solar panel. Nice. Alan. Wow. Definitely bringing this on the trip. Although, to be honest, where we're going, there's not a whole lot of sun. And, for sure, bringing this one. The big one. 22,000 milliamp hours. I don't know what that equates to. Probably charges my phone like 10 times. Thanks, Alan. We're here. Not really. Just gotta make a quick stop. I need some acai for the road. So good with the look. Traffic's moving a little too fast to hatch eggs, but it is a good speed to use incense, so that's what Cassie's doing, because as you guys know, using an incense while you're moving at least 200 meters per minute, the incense will spawn a Pokemon every minute. So Cassie's just sitting here, as a passenger, please, not while you're driving. And uh, she's caught, what, Charmander, Kabuto, Bellsprout, her incense is spawning Pokemon really quickly because we're driving. But if you're moving too quickly, the Pokemon will run away every time because once you reach a certain distance away from the point where a Pokemon spawns, it has a 100% flea rate. So if you don't catch it in that first ball, it's gonna run away. So if you're moving fast, incense is not gonna work effectively, but in traffic like this, it's not a bad time to use it. Again, as a passenger. First stop, dinner at a gas station. I would tell you what time it is, but somewhere between now and my smoothie, I lost my watch. All I can see here is a tan line where the watch used to be. Maybe the universe is telling me it's time for a new watch. Apple Watch? Android Wear? here. It's late. A lot later than I expected to be here. Even after leaving later than I expected. I just want to go to sleep. Good night. Saturday afternoon. We slept in a little late. We're here in San Francisco. We came up here originally to check out the new nearby feature, but today the buddy system also got released. So we have a lot to talk about. This is gonna be our first real test of the new nearby system. Because there's a tangle located at whatever Pokestop this is. That looks kind of far away. It's over there. Like five blocks up and two blocks over. Is that it? Tangle is there. Oh, what? what? <laughs> I got a Tangela. Did you really just do that? Yeah, I just did that. We're literally on the way to get this Tangela, and Cassie just hatched a Tangela. That's crazy. Weird. It's weird, right? Yeah, that's kind of weird. It's weird. Oh, I have eggs hatching too. It's Caterpie. Once we get in range of the Pokestop, I think it'll show up. I'm gonna go stand directly. Oh, there it is. Tangela. Well, it works. We know that much.
first try with the new nearby system. Let's see. Oh, bad IVs. Good moves though. It's my first tangle off. We're gonna head out, see a little more of San Francisco, and check out both of these new systems. Let's go. We're down here, Pier 39, Fisherman's Wharf. It's crazy down here. This is the third Clefairy that's spawned right here since we've been standing here for like five, 10 minutes maybe. My battery's already low, but lucky for me, my boy Alan at Rav Power hooked it up. Thank you. So uh, I'm gonna catch this Clefairy, but then I'm gonna plug in because 13% is no joke. Oh, it's not charged. Alan, I didn't charge it. It's okay, we have Cassie brought one though. This one's charged. Yep. Sweet. <laughs> Thanks, Alan. Yep. yep. Got it. And, oh my god. And another Clefairy. Oh, wow. I can totally go online right now. Just this one spot, this one area, right around this Pokestop spawns. I got an egg. Clefairies all day, and Magikarp, and Tentacool, and spin the Pokestop. It's crazy. We could be here all day. But, I got buddy Pokemon on, I got eggs. Ooh. One kilometer till the 10K hatches. All right, let's go for a walk. This is the spot. If Lapras is happening, this is the spot. It's a cypher. Lapras, I'm coming. I'm gonna keep trying. some eggs hatching, 5Ks. I think it's like seven of them? It's usually seven. This is crazy. Look at all these lore modules. Excuse me, I'm shooting here. Literally every Pokestop has a lore module on it. Unbelievable. And I'm like really low on Pokeballs. Really low. So I'm gonna have to choose wisely in here. Also, clam chowder. Clam chowder? Yes. Clam chowder. <laughs> You know, I've been catching so many tentacles today. I've been trying to hatch a good tentacle, and this tentacle just appears here at Allure. I was thinking about catching it, but it has 90 CP. It's really not worth it. I have like something like 167, at least 150 tentacle candies. I can easily evolve three of them. I'm just waiting for a good one. So, tentacle, I'm sorry. If you had higher CP, I would probably be catching you right now. But 90 CP, I can't do it. I gotta keep waiting. 90? 90. Bye! Well, I was gonna use the new uh, nearby feature, but here it is. Grimer. The legendary Grimer. I hope it doesn't crash my game. Do you even put this on your Instagram? Here it is, Grimer. And it, I, I didn't crash. Which is um, a problem I'm sure a lot of you have encountered. Grimer crashes games. Got it. Grimer. My first Grimer. You know, Grimer was the first wild Pokemon I encountered in the beta 
Through the entire beta, I never saw another one. I didn't catch that first one, it ran away from me. Never saw another one, and here it is. Two months in, and I finally have my first Grimer. Yo, we got the bread bowl. <laughs> this is a lot. I'm supposed to go eat with my sister right after this. I don't care, I'll eat more. We'll eat more. <laughs> we gotta find a place to sit. We're done. One last spin of the Pokestops. The three Pokestops. And this episode's gonna be over. Is that the right one? That's it. That's it. We're done for the day. See you guys tomorrow. What is Go Plus? That's a good question because I realize a lot of people might not know. It was announced and sold out before the game even launched. So a lot of people who picked up the game after it came out might have no idea what Pokemon Go Plus is. So it's a peripheral device, which I don't have here, but there's a picture of it.